Hello, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and I'm a heavy bid contract trainer. And this uh, particular video uh, came about because I don't see a lot of companies taking advantage of some very cool features in heavy bid. And they come about because of the new archiving. Uh, that's one feature, archiving estimates. The other feature is tying into heavy job data. You know, time and time again, I go to companies that have heavy job, They've never tied it in so that you can see heavy job production data in heavy bid, which is huge. Once I turn it on, they're just like, you know, they can't believe it. So, uh, and, and com this comes about from a huge misunderstanding on what credentials are. Uh, for some reason, when you say credentials, people's eyes glaze over. Well, I want to dispel these myths today. But first of all, I'm going to show you what people are missing in heavy bid by not utilizing the credentials and the archiving of estimates. So here I am in a tree view, and wouldn't it be nice to go and see uh, other estimates that I've done for this particular activity, see what I've estimated before. So I come over here to the binoculars right here. I pull up, and you notice I'm in estimate history. Now, production history would be the same thing, but it's going to be on the heavy job side. So this would tie into anything that, sh that your company is doing in heavy job. I'm going to stick today with the, with the uh, archiving of estimates, which is the estimate history. So now I can look here. I can even return this history. I could even use the production rate that's, that, um, you know, that, this, this is used right here, or I can just say, oh, I'm just going to copy this into the notes. So when somebody's reviewing the estimate, they can say, oh, here's some other places that we have used this same production rate. So it's a very cool feature. Uh, another feature would be that you utilize this uh, archiving uh, estimates, because that's what we're doing. We're looking at the estimates that are archived, is the copying from other estimates. So many times I see people, they're copying from other estimates and they're throwing their fishing line into a huge pond. And it is, it is. It's just slow. You know, you're going out and you're just going into hundreds of estimates. You don't know what these people are pulling it from. Well, now if you use the archive, the archive uh, feature correctly and archive only the estimates that you want to copy from, I go up here and then I can see across all the archive estimates. But here's where the advantage is with the archives, is I can search by estimate, by bid item, by activity. I cannot do that with the regular copy from other estimates, you know, your local estimates. So like, again, you're throwing your bait into a huge pond trying to find this stuff. Now I can just go say, well, I want to search on bid item and I'm going to search on RCP. Well, they would go out and go through all the estimates in your, in your um, archives and it would pull it up. So very huge feature here uh, that I like. Uh, but again, you have to be archiving estimates. Now the third one I'm going to show you is in the pricing. So I come over here and I go to pricing. And so I'm coming down into pricing and I'm on a price and I say, well, what have I priced this before? So I go right click, compute price from estimate history. But again, you got to turn this feature on or you can't use it. So I go to compute price from estimate history. It goes out and it finds everywhere that I have done 24 inch um, RCP. Now, in this case, it is searching on the client bid item. So that's a huge thing. You want to be using the client bid item, even if you make it up for your company. So it's a company, you know, item uh, unique for that code. It's not hard to do, but that's how you're going to be able to search and see what you have priced from other estimates. Huge feature, um, you know, one that really people have been looking for for years. So, uh, and you could, you can also, you know, again, use your quantity variances to, you know, bring down this. So let's go over and see, how do I turn this on? How do I take advantage of these features? 
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to Tools, Preferences, System, Web Applications. Now again, don't forget, you can call support and they'll walk you through this, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is. And first of all, you want to go your, to the production history and you just want to make sure that it's enabled in credentials. Now let's talk about credentials just for a minute. Credentials is not something where your IT guy is the only one in there. All right, this is credentials where everybody should be set up. So what I'm going to do before we start setting it up here is I want to go out and show you how to set up credentials. Now credentials is not what a lot of people think. It's not where you set up one person to be in charge of heavy bid. And initially, maybe it's set up for your IT person, but it should not end up that way. Everybody on your team, let me repeat that, everybody who estimates, who is an estimator, should be set up in credentials. I can't emphasize that uh, more. And who, who is set up as an admin should also be at least one of these estimators. It shouldn't be the IT person. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but it is not the IT person. This is not their area of responsibility. And I think that's where a lot of companies are failing right here. By, and, and consequently, they can't take advantage of these cool features. So I'm going to go out to credentials. I'm going to open it up. It's under hcssapps.com. Call support if you can't get in there. They'll get you in here. And then I'm going to go to open. It's going to open it up. This is under my login. And you can see here's my user list. There's me. I'm actually, this is my license. There's uh, my employee, William Nix. And he is a user. I'm an admin. You can have more than one admin, but again, one of these admin men's need to be somebody on the team. Now, once you've done that, set everybody up. I'm going to come down here to product setup, heavy bid, heavy bid licenses. And then I'm going to check allow access to heavy job data. If you have heavy job, obviously if you don't, it's going to come out grade, you know, grayed out, so you won't be able to check that. If you have safety, check that. And then if you uh, want to allow access to estimate history, which you should, you would check that. All right. So, uh, you know, depending on the product is how you're going to check that. Now, once you're done that and you saved it, if you want to, you know, uh, take advantage of it right now, what you want to do, and same thing for all the users, go ahead and set everybody up. Then come back into heavy bid. Let me get out of here. I'll come back in and go to tools, miscellaneous tools, and update heavy bid license. And that will update it with all that information. Or you could also wait till the evening. And we, re, you know, every evening it reports in. And then any new updates, it will uh, update your system. But I, I recommend just go ahead and miscellaneous tools, update heavy bid license. You're good to go. Now we go back to tools, preferences, system, and starting with system credential setup. The admin, the you know, the main admin would set up the system credentials. And then production history, go ahead and check that box. And then it should be, you should be able to check it now that you've enabled it. Otherwise, you will not be able to enable it. Estimate history, check that box. And I would go ahead and check that box, and I'll show you why in a minute, the Heavy Bit Insights, totally awesome feature. And then the safety integration, the same thing. So once you've got all this done, that's it. It's a one-time setup. Very easy. Uh, you know, again, call support. Now, the Heavy Bit Insights is really cool because I can go in, and I'm not going to go in too much into this because I'm just getting used to it myself, but... It will actually go out and, you know, kind of grade this estimate on the previous estimates that you have done. These are the archived estimates. So what it does is it looks at the KPIs or and let's go pull those up. And there's custom ones. And so here we are right here. And you can see 
I'd even have locations of where these estimates are right here. I put the latitude longitude when I set up the estimate. Um, so these are key indicators. I could come out here and I can see not only the location, but then I can go look at kind of grade each one of these based on my key indicators and say, okay, where does this estimate fall in relation to the other estimates that I have? So it's, it's just totally awesome. Uh, it's something that you're going to want to use. Uh, and again, just I just like the feature with the maps. So I can come in here and I can just see, okay, where's all the locations that these estimates, uh, you know, where these projects were. And it will give you how many estimates are in your archived and um, average archived estimate totals here. So, you know, and I'm sure ACSS is going to do more with this in the future. So totally awesome feature that you get. But first of all, you got to turn on insights and you got to turn on the credentials to, you know, to be able to access that. So, so that kind of gives you an overview of why you want to do this. You want to just you know, get over the hurdle of the credentials, set it up for everybody, come in here so you can take advantage of the Academy, all the awesome videos that, you know, Melody Hollis and her team has set up, uh, you know, just a great resource. It's going to continue to, ex their HCSS is going to continue to expand upon and, uh, you know, especially heavy job. I mean, it's just tons of videos in there that, you know, you could bring in your, your foreman and, you know, bring in people, um, you know, to watch this, you know, just refresher, you know, courses for this. So, uh, you know, great resource, but again, you got to have it set up uh, and you got to be able to get into HCSS Academy. So that kind of sums it up. It's been a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. And, uh, you know, again, this is Arthur Nix, uh, with EWKS, I'm a heavy bid contract trainer, and uh, we go in and help companies, uh, you know, set up and optimize heavy bid and, and help them use some of these great solutions that are out there uh, that heavy bid has developed uh, over the years. So again, thank you for watching this video.